What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. My name is Dallin Anderson and today we are going to be talking about Bitcoin Cash. Before we get started though, do me a favor on this channel and please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos as well as sharing them with your friends. And without further ado, we'll get straight into today's Bitcoin Cash analysis. So we're looking at Bitcoin Cash here. And the very first thing that we should check out here whenever you're looking at a new chart is your time frame. Because on this channel, we're looking at the bigger picture. As you guys know, there's multiple different time frames, different candlestick patterns based on those time frames. Smaller time frames, you're going to see different things than bigger time frames. In this case, we are on the one week candlestick. So each candlestick represents one week worth of time. Now you can see that Bitcoin Cash has been moving sideways here for quite some time. I mean, it's gone up and down, but really overall price has been moving sideways in comparison to when it was moving up and moving down over here. So volatility has gone down. Now volatility going down generally means accumulation. We often use low volatility as a sign that either the bottom of the market is in or some type of horizontal topping structure is forming. Now, in this case, we've already retraced quite significantly. So low volatility generally happens before the beginning of a new bull market. Now, if you look over here, you can see volatility was really low right after COVID. We had the COVID drop. And then Bitcoin Cash went really low volatility, went sideways, and then boom, it went super high directly after. And that is because of the fact that low volatility often leads to a big move. It's kind of like indecision in the market. People are wondering if it's going to go down, if it's going to go up. So it just goes sideways. And often it goes sideways because there's a lot of buyers, a lot of big players buying it down at low prices, so they're able to maintain its value up. They're able to support its value, keep it from dropping. And that's why it starts bottoming out because the buying pressure gets bigger than the selling pressure. So that's what we have happening here, most likely with Bitcoin Cash, low volatility, sideways movement. We're starting to see bullish engulfing candlesticks, signs of buyers. This is very typical of a low volatility reversal. This is also very typical because of the fact that whenever you see this kind of a low volatility movement like this, it means that people have forgotten about it, right? It's only the big players that are buying down here when it's moving sideways. Most people have given up, they've forgotten. And that's another thing that you want to look out for. Are people missing out on an opportunity that's right in front of them? So I do think that this sideways movement on Bitcoin Cash reminds me a lot of the last pump we had right after COVID. It looks almost identical. You can see here's the low volatility before COVID, then we or after COVID, then we pumped. You can see here is low volatility currently. And it looks a lot like just exactly like before we had that big pump last time. So I do like the setup here on Bitcoin Cash. I do personally like the setup on, on BTC as well as BSV. So the people that watch my channel, sometimes they're like, well, Dallin, how can you be bullish on all three Bitcoins? Aren't they competing against each other? And yeah, ultimately, like, yeah, they are. But go look at this US stock market and you can find McDonald's. You can find all different food companies that are direct competitors with each other that have been increasing in value throughout the entire stock market bull market. So please understand that just because two things are competitors doesn't mean that one has to die and the other one has to survive. As somebody who trades these markets because of chart patterns, both BTC, BSV, and BCH all have really good setups from a technical perspective. 
So it's just kind of like, okay, what has the most percentage gain? What does your risk profile look like? Do, are you doing your own research? Those are the questions you have to ask yourself because they all have Bitcoin in the name. Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Bitcoin SV, right? They all have Bitcoin in the name. And so people are thinking, oh, these are going to just, one's going to survive and one's going to die. That's not always the case. They all rose in the last pump and they all dumped in the last dump. So who is to say they're not going to do the same thing? They probably will. So this is kind of, kind of the difference between somebody that invests purely based on a fundamental reason and somebody that's looking at the charts. You're more often than not going to have disagreements with people that are purely fundamental traders because of the fact that you're just completely unbiased towards fundamental cause behind the markets moving. You understand these markets move because of volume. You understand they move because of cycles and they don't move because of purely fundamental reasons. It's not, it's not that that moves these markets. So yeah, overall, I do see a rounded bottom pattern happening here in the big picture. It reminds me a lot of the rounded bottom that we saw, like I said, just right after the COVID drop, we saw a rounded bottom. Very similar structure in the market here as the last, right before the last pump. The other thing that I'm looking at here with BCH is the ABC correction down. ABC corrections are something we've been talking about a lot in these videos. They're super, super simple, easy to identify, but that ABC correction is so, so key when you're investing, especially like I said at the start of this video, if you're on the one week time frame, you're going to see these corrections, these cycles very clearly. You do see an ABC correction here with Bitcoin Cash. It looks a lot like Bitcoin BTC back in the day. So I do like that setup as far as the Elliott Wave structure goes. And there's other coins that look a lot like this too. There's a lot of altcoins that look like this. They follow each other. So you'll get the same correct corrections popping up on different charts. There's going to be slight differences between these different markets you're going to see subtle differences. But overall, you're going to see a lot of similarity between Bitcoin Cash, even BSV. If you look at the two next to each other together, they're going to look pretty similar. You're going to see the same ABC correction. There's just going to be subtle differences in the chart. We do see a strong buyback right here. Like I said, that is typical of a reversal. You want to see sideways movement, just like we saw right here. And the beginning of your first impulse up, that's exactly what we see. Now we want to see another impulse up and hopefully another one. So we can really start to make some, some upward trending movement here on BCH and get ready for potentially a big picture bull market on this coin. So it's worth $234 right now. Its peak, its previous peak was about $1,600 per coin. So you've had a pretty big drop off in value. It hasn't gone like 99% down from its peak, but it's pretty low. It's pretty undervalued relative to its peak high. So yeah, this could take a little bit of time to build momentum. So just keep your eyes on the short term. Overall, the, the markets as a whole, I'm actually bullish on Bitcoin. I'm bullish on most of the markets as a whole. So in the short term, to see another move up would not surprise me in the slightest. But right now, the main thing we're focused on is this big picture potential reversal. Because the short term just doesn't really matter. It's the big picture where we make our money. It's undervalued right now. So we're, we're playing that big picture, at least here on this channel. So I do think that in the big picture, we will build a basing structure start to reverse, start to make higher highs and higher lows, and really head out towards this all-time high and hopefully and eventually break above it. So yeah, that's kind of my views on BCH. I do think it looks really good and I'm super excited about this chart pattern. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Do me a favor and please subscribe to this channel as well as hitting that like button for me. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. As always, stay profitable out there.